Heavenly Father, we come to you today to ask your blessing for the members of the class of 1989. This event marks the end of some of our most precious memories, memories that will last a lifetime. Now, we must look ahead and be prepared to meet the challenges that we will soon encounter. Every step we take into the future is based upon performance and excellence. Each member of the class of 1989 present tonight has shown the performance which you so patiently helped us to achieve. We ask you to bless the special hands that touch our lives through these years, our parents and family who have supported and encouraged us to strive for the best, our teachers and administrators who taught us academics as well as responsibility, and lastly, bless the class of 1989. To all of them, we as officers are deeply and forever indebted. Amen. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the honorable guests in attendance this evening. The class of 1989 is proud to welcome Ms. Diana Wasserman, member of the Broward County School Board. We are delighted by your attendance and honored by your participation in our commencement exercises. On stage this evening are the administrators and faculty who have played an integral part in shaping our lives and guiding us in our future endeavors. Those most involved with our class are Ms. Sarah Rogers, principal. Mr. Richard Sullivan, assistant principal. Mr. Ray Lefevre, guidance director. Mrs. Lydia Gardner, counselor, senior counselor. Mrs. Jacqueline Searcy, senior sponsor. On behalf of the class of 1989, I extend our gratitude and appreciation for all that you have done for us. It is my privilege to introduce the academic class leaders. I extend Oh, valedictorian, Stacy Martinson. And salutatorian, Michael Yudishtu. Congratulations on your attaining the highest academic honors possible. You have proven it is possible to excel academically and be involved within the school community at the same time. Finally, I present my fellow class leaders. I am grateful to have had the opportunity to work with them. President Ricardo Rincon. <laughs> Secretary Joan Kim. And Treasurer Amy O'Neill. <laughs> Lastly, fellow class Classmates Susan Williams and Ricardo Wincon will be singing the class song with our at the end of the procession at the meeting. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. It is a pleasure to introduce to you an outstanding young man who has excelled in a variety of ways at Cooper City. Our salutatorian is one of those students that you feel happy to have known. He is intellectually gifted and has used that gift to maximize the benefit of his high school years. He has taken the most challenging honors courses our school has to offer, including five advanced placement courses which carry college credit. He also participated in the Governor's Science Program last summer and has won Pride Awards in English, Mathematics, Science, and social studies. This student has earned a very impressive 4.57 cumulative point average during his four years with us. And he has all his teachers singing his praises. 
Yet, when you ask his teachers about him, they don't tell you about his intellectual ability or his high grades. Instead, they speak of his infectious enthusiasm and his ever-present smile. In addition to his demanding academic schedule, this young man has been involved in student government and helped plan many activities. He has participated in track and cross-country since the ninth grade. This year, he was co-captain of his cross-country team. His coach describes him as a natural leader and credits his hard work, enthusiasm, and dedication as a major factor in his team's 8-1 to one record this year. Complementing our salutatorian's academic and athletic achievements are his personal qualities. He is perhaps one of the most highly respected individuals in our school. His sense of humor, friendly manner, and work ethic are just some of the reasons he is so well liked by peers and faculty. In addition to striving for his personal best in all that he does, he remains concerned for others. His high standards and moral character make his leadership ability extremely valuable. We are proud to claim Michael Yudishtu, scholar, athlete, and student leader, as a Cooper City High School graduate. And our 1989 salutatorian, and we know he will do well in whatever endeavors he chooses. Fellow graduates, faculty, parents, and friends, tonight marks a new beginning. A beginning which we will share as friends, but must face as individuals. I have faith that we have been successfully molded both physically and mentally, to face the world. But we must all share in this faith because together we represent the future of our country. We must, never must we think we are alone or inadequate. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. I believe each person has great inner strength, but we are not complete unless we, sh we draw on this strength and share it with others. And though at times we may be discontent with the world, it is our world, and it can be a beautiful place. We must each care for it and strive to be happy in it. As I reflect upon the past four years, I remember the ability of every student to work, to share, and live together as a common group. This should remind us that there is room in this world for all of us, regardless of our differences. As we rejoice in this moment, we must not forget the driving force behind our successes and achievements, our parents. Fellow graduates, please take time to share your moment in the spotlight with those who have nurtured and cultivated your growth and will continue to partake in your rewards. Our parents deserve more than a mere thank you. But those simple words mean so much when said from the heart. And parents, I ask of you tonight to congratulate your son or daughter and tell them I love you, for this is a proud and special moment that will be engraved in their hearts forever. I would like to quote singer, songwriter, and musician Tracy Chapman as she is best able to express my emotions. I had a feeling that I belonged, and I had a feeling that I could be someone. Thanks to you, class of 1989.
as we packed our bags and left Feeling sad, it's the only way We said hello as we turned the key To the roof over our head Gave a smile, it's the only way home is in your heart it's a feeling that you wake with one day some people keep running all of their lives still find they haven't gone too far cause they don't seize the feeling inside the feeling inside oh, oh. so turn your In a world that is ravaged by man's inhumanity to man, and too often the underlying theme is, it is mine, you can't have it. We find someone who lives their life by a different philosophy. One that says, it is mine, and I will share it. The truly valuable things in life that we can share are the personal qualities, such as knowledge, perseverance, caring, and love. I felt important this evening to describe the essence of our valedictorian. She is a person that holds dear the natural gifts of this world. Her future plans include working with endangered species and scientific research that may save animals from extinction and preserve virgin wilderness so that generations to come will be able to appreciate the natural wonders of this planet. Her concern for others can be seen every day in the way she donates her time and shares her knowledge when helping those that are having a difficult time understanding a concept or a math problem or just need someone to talk to. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing this year's valedictorian, Miss Stacy Martinson.
In almost every commencement address, the statement, this is not an end, but a beginning is voice. However, in many ways, this ceremony is an end. It is an end to our childhood. What we leave behind tonight is just as important as what lies ahead. Over the past few weeks, we have been saying our goodbyes in our own ways to our friends, teachers, and school. Goodbyes are usually sad. They leave a void that we may feel cannot be filled. For although we counted down the last weeks, days, and then hours, until we were finally finished with high school, deep inside, we know we will miss it. For four years, Cooper City High has been our lives, our challenge, and sometimes the source of our frustrations. We must realize, however, that if we do not let go of the past, we cannot grasp the future. When we say goodbye tonight, we are saying goodbye to the past and are saying hello to the chance to become what we have always hoped we could be. Although change is constant, the foundations for our future have already been laid. Over the past years, our minds have been molded by those around us. It began with our parents, grew to our teachers, and soon encompassed our friends. But today we become graduates and must stand on our own and accept our new responsibilities. We can only hope that as students, we will accept these responsibilities with the same dedication and passion in spirit, if not in physical action, as our fellow students in China. For they have shown us that with education on our side, nothing is impossible. One day when we are much older, we will look back on our high school days and see them in a different light. We will see that we learn from pains that we thought would never go away and that we really knew nothing when we thought we knew it all. Years from now, we will remember both the good and the bad and will finally be able to see that it took experiencing both to learn the value of the other. Tonight, as I stand here, the following quote seems most appropriate. I knew someday I look back on my tears and laugh, but I never thought I look on my laughter and cry. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Wasserman, class officers, <coughs> graduates, families, I'd like to ask for your assistance in making our commencement a success. Graduation is an academic exercise and should be treated as such. We ask that you applaud politely so that each graduate and their family will have the privilege of hearing their names called. We also ask that you refrain from moving into the aisles and taking pictures. Every graduate will be photographed as they receive their diplomas. Please remain at your seats throughout the entire ceremony and until the last graduate exits. This is really a unique and special group of students that you see before you. Special to me because we've gone to school together for four years and I almost feel as if I've earned the right to walk across the stage with them. We've learned to live together, to accept one another, to accept many changes, and to grow in special ways. Through these years, we've experienced detentions for tardies, painters, IDs for school activities, more pep rallies, yearbook and after prom parties that exceeded our wildest <coughs> imaginings, painters, trips to national competitions, a homecoming dance that never was, Painters, more district championships than ever before, and more football losses. Perhaps, yeah. 
I think even the painters have earned the right to graduate with us. We've seen the tree in the main loggia cut down, replanted, <laughs> cut down again, and even the cactus uprooted. <laughs> We've had to look straight into the eyes of tragedy and death and disappointment on more than one occasion. We've learned that life goes on, we can deal with our feelings way beyond our years. I have many of the same emotional bonds with these seniors as you parents. Out of frustration, I have often loved and hated them at the very same time, for love and anger are so closely tied. In his best-selling book, All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten, Robert Fulham maintains that the basic tenets of life are learned before first grade. Share everything, play fair, don't hit people, put things back where you found them, clean up your own mess, don't take things that aren't yours, say you're sorry when you hurt somebody, wash your hands before you eat, flush, Warm cookies and cold milk are good for you. Live a balanced life. Learn some and think some and draw and paint and sing and dance and play and work some every day. Take a nap every afternoon. When you go out into the world, watch out for traffic, hold hands and stick together. Your children came to us 12 years ago possessing this knowledge. We have made every effort to expand upon this basic philosophy and challenge these students academically and emotionally to make them competitive as they go out into the world. These graduates, as they sit before you, are experiencing one of the major rites of passage in life. They're all dressed in a uniform, a cap and a gown which signifies that the adult stage of their lives begin when the last one crosses the stage. They will no longer be in the protective custody of their teachers and parents. Most will be going away to school or to the services or to the world of work. If they choose to be late to class or work, or stay home for a day. It will be an adult decision with adult consequences. Just this short walk across this stage will make all the difference. Armed with the individual philosophy they've developed and the best academic preparation we could give them, we can only hope that they make decisions they can live comfortably with. In my time, as a teenager in college decision, a student's decisions were not so difficult to make because I knew for sure that if you had sex before you were married, you went blind and your skin broke out. <laughs> if you broke curfew or wrecked the car, you were a dead person. <laughs> if you smoked a cigarette, you couldn't come out of your room until your wedding day. <laughs> Life was simple. Somehow, the basic expectations we parents have for our children have changed a little. We know the kids have a great deal of peer pressure, and we complain often about it, yet we've yielded to this pressure as well. How often has social conversation turned to the fact that we, rela we were relieved our kids were only smoking cigarettes? Our son was living with someone. Thank God it was a girl. <laughs> Our kids aren't studying, but at least they haven't quit school and run away. Nancy Reagan had us buy into the simplistic slogan, just say no, and oh, if it were only that simple. Perhaps we should have spent and should continue to spend our energy promoting, be prepared to live with yes. For as they go through this rite of passage, 
the bottom line is being prepared to live with the decisions and the choices they make. I believe that teenagers have always confirmed the truths of life through song lyrics. You parents will be able to relate to one of my favorite songs when I was the age of these seniors. Peter, Paul, and Mary sang about Puff the Magic Dragon, and the song sort of boiled down to one line, dragons live forever, but not so little boys. Of course, this was much easier to find meaning in than who put the bop in the bop, she bop, she bop, and it neatly described our rite of passage. Our little boys and girls are now men and women. Graduating seniors, as you give up your childhood and you cross this stage to face the adulthood, you face a lot of challenges and responsibilities. The responsibility to be a better person, parent, or friend than the examples you have lived with and criticized. The responsibility to come back and constructively criticize us at the school. Tell us how to be better. The responsibility to make morally correct decisions and live with those decisions. The responsibility to discipline yourselves, for we have disciplined you until now but we can't teach you to discipline yourselves. The responsibility to seek knowledge, to know the most you can possibly know about the field you pursue, to be the best you can possibly be in your chosen profession, and the responsibility to carry forward all of this to the next generation our grandchildren. Every week, I buy two lottery tickets. And for $2, I have lots of fun and fantasy on Saturday night. But you know, whether the lottery is $8 million or $61 million, I always come back to the same basic things. If I win the lottery, I'll make sure I have two cars so one is always in perfect running order and I won't have to be intimidated by those automobile service people. <laughs> and I'm gonna have one of those fancy closet companies that you see in the Sunday magazine sections come and do whatever magic they do to organize my closet. And I could just get on a plane any Sunday morning, I felt homesick, and go have Sunday dinner with my mother and daddy and 99-year-old mama, and see the dogwoods and the azaleas bloom in the spring, the leaves change in the fall, and come back that afternoon. I'd put away enough money so that no one would have to worry if I live long enough to go to the nursing home. And beyond that, I can't think of any luxury that would make my life happier. It comes down to family and good friends and learning to live with and like yourself and your own actions. The really good things, the big things, are inside and not outside us. The big thing is not luxury but contentment. Not a big house, but a big satisfaction. Not accumulated art treasures, but a fine artistic appreciation. Not a big library, but a serene studiousness. Not a big estate, but a large vision. And now, I'll close with a poem titled Choices from my favorite poet, Mer Merritt Malloy. It sums up all of the thoughts I've shared with you. All you have to do to change your life is to change your mind. It really is that simple, but it isn't always easy. All you have to do to stop feeling bad is to start feeling good. But feeling good is not a one-time event. 
It's a decision we make minute by minute, day by day. It's a creation. The way to change the world is to change your attitude towards it, not just once, but all the time. And now, Mrs. Wasserman, on behalf of the faculty and in my official capacity as the principal of Cooper City High School, I certify to you that these students have successfully completed the requirements set forth by the School Board of Broward County and the State of Florida. It is with a great deal of pride, honor, and privilege that I present to you the 1989 class of Cooper City High School for graduation. Thank you, Ms. Rogers. Good evening, and thank you for allowing me to share these very special moments with you tonight. It is with pleasure that I extend my sincerest gratitude to the administration, the teachers, the staff, and the parents who make up the Cooper City High School family, for you all have touched the lives of these young men and women. Hopefully, all of you will be continuing your education. Some of you will be entering various professions, trades, and vocations. Some of you will continue your education at local institutions. Still others of you will be leaving your families and friends to seek higher education in other parts of the state and country. We at the Broward County School Board are hopeful that after you attain your goals, you will return to us and support the community which worked so very hard to prepare you for the future. It is with an extreme sense of pride that I release you, the class of 1989. Ricardo Ernesto Rincon. Michelle F. Gillespie. Joan Kim. Amy Lynn O'Neill. Stacy Marie Martinson. Michael Sum Do It Yudishtu. Susan Ella Williams. Cynthia Beth Altman.
Stacy Robin Batt. Annette Grace Booth. Wendy Michelle Breslow. Erica Jean Brown. Erin Kathleen Brown. Cynthia Louise Carroll. Tiffany Hope Cohen. Jessica Ann DeGirolamo. Scott Lyle Engel. Jody Gail Ehrenstoft. Carrie Evans. Michael D. Ferguson. Terry Lynn Gladstone. Joanna Stacy Goldsman. Teresa Lynn Harris. Tricia Lynn Harris. Heather Ann Hobbs. Deborah Ann Hyatt. Stephen C. Kalning. Andrea Lee Keller. Right. Carrie Ann King. Brian Joseph Kirschenbaum. Kara Lynn Kiefler. Keith Aaron Levine. Kimberly Lieberman. Amanda S. McClary. Michael Lawrence Marshall. Nancy Ann Masters. Russ Brian Morgan. Suja J. Nair. Adam Lloyd Pollock. Judson Michael Powers. Dana Lynn Priskulnik. Dina K. Rashkover. Suzanne Joy Rickard. Scott Samuelson. Carla Antonia Sanwar. Jennifer Lee Senze. Scott Blaine Schaefer. Sunil Ravindra Shukla. Thomas Stankus, Jr. Scott Stillwell. Karen Ann Stutz. Gail Serloff.
Melissa Mary Thibault. Juby Sam Thomas. Denise Ann Trois. Kevin Robert Turk. Vanessa Nicole Walsh. Deborah Lind Windhorst. Philip O. Zeise. Allison Agresti. Maram K. Alawat. Asiya Summer Ali. David Jared Allardyce. Alexander R. Alonzo. Alejandro Alvarado. Jennifer Rebecca Anderer. Philip Gerald Anderson. John Vincent Ardito. Kimberly Lynn Ardo. John Ivis. Michelle Bert. Cassandra Jude Benzen. D. Scott Barker. Christine Michelle Barkowski. Nicholas Joseph Baranci. Joseph Batista. Stacy Laura Bazzano. Lydia Antoinette Below. Anthony David Beckman. Sonia Joyce Bedal. Chad Matthew Bennett. Sarah M. Bennett. Sherry Elizabeth Berardino. Raquel R. Begonia. Ronald Allen Rivera Bergonia. Laura Lucia Bernal. Amy Christine Bernhardt. Michael Leonard Bernstein. Marilyn Elaine Bianco. John Michael Billings. Stacy J. Billingsley. Francisco Bizano. Deborah Ann Blizzard. Brenna Elaine Blosh. Christina Marie Bogle. Vincent M. Bonacera. Justin Scott Bosert. 
Lemore Bowman. Nancy Elizabeth Bourne. Eddie J. Boyajian. Aaron Boyd. Kristen Scott Bragg. William Dale Breckenridge. Mark E. Brent. Philip M. Bretz. Heather Christine Brock. Anne Marie Brogna. Melody Darlene Brosius. James R. Brumage. Scott C. Bruno. Douglas John Bullis. Douglas Salvatore Bonacore. Brent E. Burcham. Benjamin Heath Burke. Robert Kennedy Busher. Anthony Joseph Busk. Jenny S. Cabrera. Garrett Kafakis. Kenneth G. Kagan. Yes. Nancy Caltabiano. Angela Noon Capaletti. Sharon Elizabeth Capella. Richard Edward Capello. Tara Lee Carberry. Michelle Elizabeth Carter. Mark A. Caruso. Stephen R. Casserly. Noel Robert Castator. Kristen Castellucci. John Anthony Checa. Helen Sue Chan. Jerry H. Chang. Mark H. Chang. Nicole L. Chapman. Shannon Joe Church. Jerry Sean Clark. Stacy Marie Clemenza. Francis A. Kochi. Troy A. Cole. Kimberly Cass Coleman. Ernesto Mario Consuegra. Scott J. Canto. Sean William Conway. Colette Cook. James Paul Coppinger. Dana Suzanne Cordell. Jennifer Ann Cottrell. (laughs) 
Melanie Cutler. Todd J. Dangle. Diana K. Davidson. Eric Joseph Delavedova. Krista Ann DeVeronica. James Deal. Michael William Dilliston. Kevin Joseph Dinan. Tammy Faith D. Stefano. Joseph Sandor Duval. Karen May Jerf. Mary Ann Dolan. Christopher Frank D'Onofrio. Denise Michelle Dowling. Joy Ann Downey. Craig Robert Downey. Dennis H. Dressen. John Frederick Dunn. John M. Ebanks. Randy Scott Edelstein. Allison Ruth Edmonds. Ali Kara Elkman. Anthony Vincent Falzone. Christopher Michael Fucci. Rosalie Marie Fuente. Leanne Noel Fung. Lisa Nicole Fife. Roseanne Marie Gallagher. Christina Marie Galetta. Brian Keith Gann. Jerry L. Gemma. Erica G. Gewurz. Melissa Mary Gibson. Robert Patrick Gillespie. Donald L. Gilmer. Daryl M. Girard. Jody Michelle Goldberger. Raymond F. Goldenstein. Alyssa Ray Goldshine. Beth Halley Goodman. Martin E. Goodman. Aaron M. Goodstein. Kristen K. Ghost. Lisa Ann Gorey. Kim Marie Gottfrain. Barry T. Greenberg. Craig Aaron Greer. Christopher Douglas Gray. Christina Nicole Grimm. Scott M. Gruber. 
Michael D. Harrison. Roger Brent Winston Harrison. Holly Margaret Hazeltine. Kelly J. Hayes. Tammy Kristen Henning. Ronald John Herzig. Nancy L. Hilton. Jody Grace Himple. Jamie Christopher Hitzkis. Joshua Lucas Holmbeck. Jennifer Pitcher Holmes. Robert James Holtz. Scott Patrick Huth. Paula Marie Horn. Camille Gail Hornet. Joseph Howard Hornstein. Paul J. Hauser. D. Dawn Howland. Jill Renee Howlett. Cecilia Denise Hauer. Judy Ann Izier. Robert Dean Jacobs. Julian W. Jacobson. Nancy Noel German. Sherry Lynn Johnson. Shara Ellen Johnson. Tyler Grant Johnson. Jean A. Justino. Adina Gay Canis. Daniel T. Carella. Michelle Dawn Kiernan. Jacob Allen Kennedy. Julianne Canals. David Andrew Kinnearum. Candace Jean Koval. Laura Kimberly Krakel. Brian Christopher Kroll. Susie Lynn Kroller. Colleen Christy Kyle. Rose Mary Lano. 
Michelle Marie Lazaro. Janae M. Lazarus. Michelle Ann Laser. Tamara Nicole LeBlanc. Lauren Sharon Lester. Marla Joy Levy. Carl A. Lynn Jr. Keely M. Lindauer. Nadine Janelle Little. Michelle Janine Lombard. Philip M. Longuera. Christopher Robert Lawson. Don Marie Loy. Jermaine Alexandra Bonomini Lutman. Lori Ann Mahmood. Beverly Sue Maine. Jeffrey Mayer. Jennifer Rebecca Manfra. James Stephen Mann. Michael J. Manolini. Catherine Joanne Marcotte. Annalisa Angela Mayer. Deborah Kathleen Marino. Enrique Artero, Arturo Marroquin. Evelyn Catherine Martinelli. Alexander Michael Martinez. Mark Anthony Martinez. Robert Paul Matthews. Edward Briggs McEnroe. Joanna K. McLucas. Jonathan A. McNeil. Kimberly Joanne Megerson. Craig Stephen Mercogliano. Michelle Murdes. Michelle Messaker. Mitchell Alex Myers. Don R. Miller. Luana Miller. Meredith Jill Miller. Wendy Mingle. Denise Mitchell. Brian J. Monahan. Larry T. Montgomery. Melissa Elizabeth Monzo. 
Patrick D. Moore. Lisa Michelle Moreno. Joy Heather Morris. Deborah S. Mosley. Craig Anthony Ma Solomon. Christine R. Mullins. Heather Murfins. Christina Ann Murphy. Abir Hasim Hissam Mustafa. Michael C. Nagel. Nicole Marlene Nanoy. Deanna Negrera. Anthony M. Neosi. Jennifer Lee Knight. Deborah Lynn Nowicki. Shannon Leah O'Grady. Michael Kenneth O'Hara. Lori Ann Olivo. Keith A. O'Prey. Jennifer Ann Osborne. Melanie Rochelle Oster. Adam John Olette. Chad W. M. Patesnick. Marcy Kathleen Palmer. No Fizway N. Palmer. Guy Thomas Parola. Richard Henry Paulson. Tina Marie Pazienza. Jorge Luis Perez. Stephanie C. Perrin. Allegra Ann Peters. John Christopher Peters. Kelly D. Pierce. William Joseph Pearson, Jr. Jean Marc Piquion, <laughs> Alessandro Marcus Pizarro, <laughs> Carolyn Annette Pope, <laughs> Christina F. Horst. Edward Garrett Powers. Janet Lynn Powers. Jennifer Aaron Patak. Sarah L. Pugh. Edward Joseph Quigley. Roberta Alessandra Radovic. 
Sarish R. Ragubir. Eric John Rainville. Kimberly Lynn Rayo. Donald David Raymond. Joan Lorraine Reed. Daniel S. Reisner. Rachel A. Resende. Michelle Lauren Rich. George E. Richards. Regina Marie Rico. Arthur William Rinderneck III. Craig A. Reinhardt. Cynthia, excuse me, Cynthia Christine Riska. Tracy Riston. Noel Daniel Rivera. Janine Marie Rizzo. Jennifer Ann Roberts. William Allen Robertson. Amy Lynn Romer. Jamie Lynn Rosen. Lawrence A. Rubin. Holly Lee Rosinski. Scott Michael Rush. Robert A. Salomon. Michael David Sandelier. Michael Santanello. Laura Jean Sass. Gregory Lane Schaefer. George Wesley Shefferstein III. Richard A. Schwartz. Stephanie Jill Schwartz. Diane R. Seidel. Carrie Ann Serenci. Ryan Jason Shahoud. Timothy Charles Schellenberger. Shelly Nicole Scheip. Julie Ann Schuker. Scott James Silva. Amy Sims. Jennifer Michelle Singleton. Nicholas W. Singley. Curtis Melton Sloan. Tracy Lynn Slocum. Stephanie Eileen Small. 
Alan Brandon Smith. <laughs> Carrie Lynn Smith. Jean Lee Smith. Lisa Danielle Smith. Jason D. Suley. <laughs> Kenneth William Salden, Jr. <laughs> Jennifer A. Sprague. <laughs> Joseph Springfield. <laughs> Kimberly Sid Stampler. Kim Ann Stano. David William Stavre. Charmaine Karen St. Clair. Jean St. Pierre. Joseph P. Stepanovich. Chad Michael Strachan. <laughs> Heather Stundis. <laughs> Maurice A. Suarez. <laughs> Megan Eileen Sullivan. <laughs> Gerald Todd Sweeting. Warren L. Tamargo. Richard Emil Tarquinio. Gerson Enrique Taylor. Tracy Leanna Taylor. Catherine Marie Telemachos. Jerusha Elizabeth Terry. Rena Marie Tersini. Merrick Nelson Theobald. James L. Thomas. Robert E. Thomas II. John Robert Thompson. Kevin M. Thorne. Annette Ptolemyo. Jenny Elizabeth Tracy. Keith David Troop. John Anthony Turner. James Kevin Tuttle. Wendy Lynn Valensic. Jose A. Vargas. Kimberly Dawn Velzig. Donna M. Venezia. Karen Lynn Variato. Brian Allen Wagoner. Christine Sherry Wagner. Jody Lee Walsh. 
Douglas Patrick Washburn. Timothy James Weber. Kelly Ann Weber. Nicole Cherie Webster. Jennifer Ann Weech. Todd A. Wen. Brian Scott Weinberg. Chad William Whitfield. James Grant White, Jr. Leanne Williams. Lori Willis. Candace Lynn Wilson. Andrea Lori Winokur. Chantel G. Wolf. Scott Anthony Wood. Gregory Scott Woods. Jennifer Dawn Yanklowitz. A parody, Yantara Kitkasol. Kevin Allen Yoder. Brett W. Young. Terrence Craig Young. Christine K. Younger. Dennis Michael Zabaglo. David J. Zambrano. Richard R. Zizek. Deborah Ann Zofnis. Jennifer Lynn Zofnis. We would, we would also like to recognize our foreign exchange student, Veronique B.A. Parents, teachers, and fellow classmates, for years I have dreamed of this day. The day that I would complete high school. And here I am, I've made it. Over the past months I have begun to think of this not as the end, but as the beginning of my adult life. I'm sure everyone has experienced these same thoughts, because look around you. I am not the only one that has a new life to live, and I'm not the only one that's scared. I am, as you are, the graduating class of 1989. But as I stand here tonight, I realize that in 20 years, 
Many of you will not remember a single word I say. And only a few of you will even remember me. But that's okay, that's okay, because there are more important things in life. I will remember all the activities we experienced and the many successes which our class accomplished. Oops, accomplished. Four years ago, four long years ago, we entered as freshmen, nervous and anxious. But again, we were not alone. A brand new principal also started anew, our very own Sarah Rogers. <clears throat> she started that year as well, and she watched us grow as we watched her grow. We lived through gas leaks, fire drills, English writing assignments, math exams, and who could forget the fabulous painters, stair builders, and portable reconstructors. Although we struggled, we made it to our senior year. We'll remember this homecoming dance as our least expensive. <laughs> we'll remember grad night at Disney World, hoping to catch a glimpse of Samantha Fox or New Kids on the Block. And no one will forget prom, I suppose. <clears throat> I wonder why. <laughs> but I suppose above everything, no one will forget this, our graduation day. As we walked across this stage tonight, we faced the fact that we were on our way. We, the class of 1989, are taking on the world. As I stand here, I realize why we've been scared. We were afraid of failing, of fearing inferior. Because after today, it's all up to us. It's all, after t it's all up to you. Unfortunately, we are not going to be babied anymore. Not in the real world. Because gradually we will grow old. And during each stage of this growth, we will sit back and remember high school. We will remember these fears that we feel today, the anxieties, as well as the feeling we felt last Friday when we, when we realized that it was over. These are the things that we will never forget. Then every 10 years or so, less than half of you will return for a reunion, and there will be a reunion. I say less than half of you because many will be too busy or too far away, not interested, or possibly too self-conscious about the weight you've gained or the hair you've lost. <laughs> and a few, let's be very real, would just get lost. So how will we survive? What we've learned in these four years will not be enough. We're facing a world in which being able to explain the difference between a simile and a metaphor will not hold a marriage together. A world in which knowing the date of the Boston Tea Party will not soften the agonizing disappointments we'll meet. It is a world in which the ability to compare and contrast the writing styles of Steinbeck and Hemingway will not shield us from the subtle dangers, old sins, and new viruses. This is our challenge, and we will overcome. We are the class of 1989. We are the future of the world, and that future is now. Farewell, Cooper City High School. We leave you as winners. Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> and now, class of 89, please stand. And join your officers in turning your tassels to become part of Cooper City's history. Please remain standing for the alma mater and the benediction.
Father, we, the graduating class of 1989, humbly ask that you be present with us tonight as we stand in anticipation of our hopes and our dreams for the future. We leave Cooper City High School to embark on a journey into the real world, and we ask that you give us the strength to pursue excellence and the courage to overcome obstacles. Help us to welcome change as a process of maturing and to realize that our lives are not set in stone. We thank you for those individuals who have continually guided us with patience and understanding in our lives thus far, especially our parents. Please reassure them that letting go means to fear less and to love more, and that no matter where we may go or what we may do, the reflections of our actions and feelings will return to them so that they may be proud. They will always be a part of our lives. We thank you for the blessings you have bestowed upon us. We pray that with your love, we can use these gifts to the utmost potential. Allow us to keep all the memories of our high school years, the laughter, the tears, and most important, the friendship we shared in a special place in our hearts. We hope that our paths may cross again so that we can recall these precious memories together. Father, bless this day and the many years that follow in our lives. Amen. Thank you. 